morning and welcome to Bay Sunday. Sue Kwan is on assignment and will return next week as well as appear via tape later on in the show. I'm Dee Dee Purvis and I'll be your host today. First, a reminder to stay connected with us on Facebook and Twitter and see the archives of our shows and for more information on cbs5.com slash Sunday. You can also pitch story ideas to us there. Today's show brings us lots of gadgets, a one show, a one, excuse me, a one man show and information on keeping fit. But before we get started, I'd like to tell you about two opportunities that you can nominate local heroes to receive an award. We here at CBS 5 have the Jefferson Awards and the Hearts, of he Hearts and Heroes Awards. Recognizes individuals who have demonstrated exceptional and inspirational behavior to another individual or to a community as a whole. The nominee must reside or work in the city of San Francisco. For more information on nominating a local hero for a Jefferson Award and or for a Hearts and Heroes Award, log on to cbs5.com slash Jefferson Awards or cbs.com slash Bay Sunday, then click on Show Information and then Hearts and Heroes. Please welcome frequent guest, senior editor of PhoneDog.com, Noah Kravitz. Welcome, Noah. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Dee. Sure. It's a pleasure. So, so we have a lot of stuff. It's a, a busy time in the industry with the holiday season coming up, back to school, you know, all the shopping stuff. There's actually a big uh, cell phone show that twice a year there's a big national conference. It was down in San Diego a few weeks ago. So lots of gadgets, lots of new stuff. Um, viewers might see some TV ads coming up in the next you know, month or so that already started from new Android phones. Android is Google's big move into the mobile uh, telephone operating system thing, you know, smartphones in your pockets to compete with Blackberry and iPhone and all that. So we have two new Android phones. Uh, this is the T-Mobile Click from Motorola and this is the Sprint Hero from HTC. They both run the Android system and um, Basically, you know, the big difference here is that the click has a little slide-out keyboard for all your messaging, and then the Hero is kind of more just a straight-up touchscreen phone. Mm -hmm. uh, they both have lots of integration with social networking, so your Facebook updates, your Twitter updates, your online photo albums, all that stuff, and they have these little things called widgets on the home screen, so you can have you know, your clock, your weather, all of that, but then also all your messages, your latest happening. You can see, you know, on the click here, there's my latest update that one of your staffers told me I should check out Stan Can, the gadget man, afterwards. <laughs> so I messaged myself, and it's here waiting for me in the home screen. Mm -hmm. So these are kind of neat phones if, you know, you want all the, the web and the, you know, the music player and all that stuff, but also if you're a social maven online, you really want to stay connected with Facebook and the, the Bay Sunday Facebook page, all that kind of stuff. Right. Um, we also have two other uh, new touchscreen phones that are big on multimedia. So again, uh, two different carriers here. This one's for Sprint. It's called the Instinct HD. And this has, uh, in addition to a 5 megapixel camera, it has a high definition camcorder. So you can actually snap, um, you know, on the go, high def video. And then you can get an optional cable to hook it up to your TV screen, your, you know, your home theater system, whatever, and play it back in high definition. So whether it's, you know, home videos of your kids or movies that you've downloaded and you want to take with you on the go to a friend's house, um, you know, it's pr really pretty amazing. It's a little uh, entertainment system in your pocket. And then this one's called the Imagio, and this is new from Verizon. And this is actually um, a Windows mobile smartphone. So there's a lot of hype this week. Windows 7 just came out, the operating right. system for Windows computers. Windows Mobile is the mobile version, and they're only at 6.5. They're not at 7 yet. But 6.5 just came out. So this runs 6.5, and you've got all your information on the home screen, your email and your web browser and all that stuff. But then there's actually also um, a mobile television application. You can get mobile TV broadcast right on the phone. And it's got on the back this little kickstand that actually doubles as an antenna, which is kind of clever. Interesting. So if you're lazy like me, you can set that down on the table and uh, put the kickstand out and, you know, kick back, watch your videos, look at your photos right there on the, the nice big touchscreen. Um, then we've got two others which kind of buck the whole touchscreen trend. You know, that's really popular right now. Um, this one is from Boost Mobile. This is called the Debut. And it's a pretty basic slider phone. You can do all your messaging and all that. But the thing about Boost Mobile is you don't have to sign up for a contract. So with the rest of these phones, to get them at the advertised price, you have to sign generally a two-year contract. Uh, with Boost Mobile, no contract. You can pay as you go or you can pay by the day, pay by the minute, pay by the day, pay by the month. The rates are generally a little bit cheaper. Um, and the phones are a little more basic and you have to pay for the phones up front. But, uh, you know, you can do what you need to do, and it's a good way uh, if you're not, you know, 
connected all the time. You just need a phone for, for use here and there. Right. So this is their new one called the Debut. And then this one is uh, from Sony Ericsson. This is brand new. And this is, this is pretty different. I like this because the emphasis is on design. I like how that lights up. Yeah, it. it's, it's really, it's called the, uh, the Pureness, the Xperia Pureness. It'll be out in the States just before around Thanksgiving time. And uh, it actually has, you know, this interesting screen that lights up. And then you can sort of see it from the back. It's kind of see-through. So you can kind of see my finger through the screen I there. I do, I do. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of neat. And it actually does, you can actually browse the web on it even. It's only gray, uh, grayscale, but all of your messaging and calls and all that kind of stuff. But it's just really a neat design piece. And so not everybody wants, you know, all of this stuff in their pocket, all the connectivity and everything. Some people, you know, there's a premium on, on looking a little bit different, looking kind of cool, whatever. So, you know, I kind of like it. I'm too addicted to my email on the go maybe to use this all the time. But uh, next time I get dressed up, I might have to pull this out of my pocket. I'm interested in the Instinct because I have the, the original Instinct phone, and I, you know, I don't use it as much as I, I should, but right. you know, I'm interested in that one for sure. Yeah, so they, they came out, Sprint and Samsung came out uh, with, as you said, the Instinct about a year and a half ago, and then two new models of the Instinct. This is the newest one. And it's, you know, the, the way that it looks, the menu system and everything is familiar. You know, if you used it, you'd say, oh, yeah, this looks, you know, just like my Instinct. Mm -hmm. But they bumped it up with the... Uh, you know, the big camera on the back and the camcorder, and there's a headphone jack for your music. I see. And very all nice, that very stuff. nice. Well, thanks, Noah, so much. For more information about Phone Dog and Noah and the phones, the products discussed, go to cbs5.com slash base Sunday and click on show, in, show information. And then Phone Dog Noah. We'll be back for more base Sunday after this break.